This is Mrs. Reister with Lesson 6.2, your turn number one. The manager at a sports store bought cans of tennis balls for $2 each and tennis rackets for $20 each. Using B for the number of cans of tennis balls and R for the number of rackets, write an expression to represent the total cost of the balls and rackets. So B is the uh, number of cans of tennis balls that he's going to buy. And we know that one can costs $2. So hypothetically, if we were to buy 10 cans, we would take two times 10. And in this case, because we don't actually know the number, we're going to use B. So we would take two times B to find the total cost of all of the tennis balls. And likewise, we're gonna do the same thing for the tennis rackets. So we're gonna to add to that 20R. So our expression here is 2B plus 20R. And now part B, the manager is going to mark up the price to double what he bought it for. Using your expression from part A, write and simplify an expression using the distributive property to represent the total price for the tennis balls and tennis or the tennis balls and the rackets. So because he's going to double it, we're going to just take everything times two. So we're gonna take this whole expression in part A and multiply it by two. So we're gonna have the two out front to show we're gonna multiply everything inside by two. And that is our expression from part A, 2B plus 20R. So now using the distributive property, we're gonna take two times two B and two times 20 R. Two times two B is four B and two times 20 R is 40 R. So this expression here is what we could use if we wanted to find out the total price of everything, if we knew how many cans of tennis balls were to be purchased and how many rackets, we could use this expression to find that cost.